And I thought, what the fucking fuck? This has got to hurt. <laughs> um, I'm sure some of you guys have seen it too. So it's been doing the rounds. Essentially, I'll describe it to you people who are listening via the podcast app. It's a bodybuilder known as Mike O'Hearn. I'm pretty sure it's pretty famous because if you hover over his name, he has 80,000 followers. So I'm pretty sure he's very well known in the industry. He's got a blue check mark. So I'm pretty sure people are well aware of him. It's some sort of, you know, convention for bodybuilders, whatever it may be. And he's essentially on stage, you know, taking off his top, revealing his, you know, chiseled physique that he spent years honing in the gym. And um, he decides to walk across the stage for some reason. I'm not sure if he's walking across the stage to get a better angle or to make sure he's in the right lighting so people can see his abdominals and his pectorials and his triceps and biceps. But whatever happens, he takes a bit of a stumble right, off himself, the stage. It is insane how hard he falls. And you have to imagine too, right? Um, I've always said that <laughs> my most favorite thing to watch on the internet our video I, no one really, it's not there's not really a, a, a reddit of this actually there's not really a subreddit that i can find at the moment if anyone else can find it let me know but there's not really a subreddit of like girls falling over but i love watching videos of girls falling over because naturally or well, normally in norm, in most in most occasions when girls fall over they don't brace themselves as they fall to the ground i'm not sure if it's because girls are not really used to rough and tumble play as much as boys are um they don't really have that kind of you know inbuilt tra- inbuilt kind of you know um uh reflex to just cover your face or to brace or to kind of protect your back or to protect your vital organs when you're falling over because you know as for the most part even if you're even if you're not the most sporty or of athletic dudes you've fallen over a couple of times or maybe more than a couple of times so you know what the impact feels like so you try to avoid certain things um so when you do see a guy fall over it's usually you know because of lack of awareness understanding of where they are spatially right but when they do fall over just the mass of a guy's body right the, just the weight of it, like falling down, gravity it's, gra- gravity having its way is just brutal to hear. Especially a dude like this who's like, you know, he's dense, right? He's got an absolute back off on him, right? Just whacked off, you know what I mean? Like he's got pecs like tits, his arms look like my head. Do you know what I mean? He's huge. And the way he falls off of this, ages <laughs> now. <laughs> oh my God. This guy died. Oh my days! Jesus Christ! He, he, he starts everyone on stage, Tony. Walks across it, but fucking hell! Mama mia, man! That was a four and a half. Oh my god! But yeah, man. Um, it's also a bit of a dorky thing to go watch a flipping um bodybuilding concert, isn't it? Right? If you're not a bodybuilder yourself, just to go watch it as a thing. That's some dork level shit, isn't it? Like, I can't imagine that. But hey, you know, what 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 do I know about imagining stuff? But yeah, that was an absolute tumble and a half, man. We had to replay that. Because, oh my days. All right, pretty boy himself, Michael Hearn. Right, is that his nickname? Pretty boy, Mike, Michael Hearn, pretty boy. Mike, Mike pretty boy, Hearn. That is madness, pretty boy, pretty boy. <laughs> He's got that. He's got that gym. We know that gym walk when the guys are about to go over to the. Because there's a few guys. Everyone, most people in my gym have that gym walk, and I've recognised that there's a walk. There's a gym walk, and there's a, obviously there's a yeah. There's a normal gym walk, and there's also a CrossFit walk too. CrossFitters have that particular walk that they do, where they kind of you know they have their they sort of like put their they pop, they're sort of like um how do you say they kind of push their shoulders back, their chest is pointed upwards, and they kind of pop their bum out and sort of walk like that right and then gym guys have have the walk that he has michael hearn where you kind of like walk up to it like you know like more so like a rude boy do you know what i mean like you bet lean forward and you kind of go your arms to the side so people can see what you're fucking working with and usually that's the kind of walk that guys do when they're about to approach the dumbbell rack or something right they're about to lift up the fucking 60 kg fucking dumbbells sit on the sit on a bench somewhere and just fucking push that shit up and down. Yes, yes, yes. That's what it sort of looks like. Look at him. He's about to, you know, he's about to get, I'm about to go grab that 60, you know. I'm just grabbing a 15 kg and I'm I'm, I'm curling it. Because, oh, it's just too heavy. And he's walking across like, get out of the way, bitch. I want that 60 kg. And ba-boom! <laughs> Oh my god. You gotta watch it. I'm gonna link it in the show if you guys watch it. Watch him 
are listening via the podcast app, I'll link in the show notes for you because that is honestly one of the most hilarious things I've seen in my life. <laughs> that image of him, fall- the silhouette of him falling is probably something that needs to be made into like, um, you know, the NBA sign of the guy jumping in the air? That should be the sign for bodybuilding. Him falling. Like, look. <laughs> Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> Luckily it's not super high and it's like um it's like one of those I don't know, it's a regular conference room with carpet floors, so the, the you know the stage isn't that high. Maybe they don't use the stage too often, the stage they have to kind of bring in. If this was like in an arena somewhere and the stage is like high up above and you've got all cables and you know barricades on the floor, he would have fucked himself up properly. But the problem you mostly got is a couple cu- couple of carpet burns, so you know, don't feel too bad for him. Plus he's wham. Do you know what I mean? The whole point of having muscles is that so you can survive stuff like this, right? Why work out in the gym if your muscles don't act as like a you know inbuilt body bag? There's no point, right? You might as well just be skinny. Did did a certain bodybuilder recently actually? I remember somebody on the timeline. I forgot who it was. Wasn't there a particular bodybuilder? I'm gonna say it was a black dude who got stabbed and he survived because this doctor say he survived because of his muscle dens- den- density was able to kind of absorb a lot of the a lot of the blade so it didn't hit a vital organ, which makes complete sense eh? logically, right? If you've got if you've got a fucking chest that pops out at like five centimeters height in from in between of your chest and someone puts a blade in you it might help to it just go through the entire peck obviously it might hurt you know obviously it's gonna hurt because that's fucking muscle but jesus christ man it's got those inbuilt body bags uh, the inbuilt sorry um, airbags inside of it <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> Okay, I'll link in the show notes. I'll link in the show notes if you guys can check it out. But yeah, it's fucking hilarious, man. Oh my god, one of the best videos I've seen this did today. Or this this week actually. Apart from all the Popeye stuff is all popping off. Um no pun intended. But yeah, that caught my eye. 